All right, time has come. It's finally here. This Saturday, influencer boxing comes to a head with the biggest crossover boxing event that there ever was. Filled with great matchups that even the most hardcore boxing fans can appreciate. But in this video, I'm going to break down the main event and explain why what we see in the ring on October 14th might surprise you. Okay, so I made a video breaking down this fight back in September. And though my thoughts in this fight really haven't changed too much, I have seen a few things that make me look at this fight a little bit differently. Obviously, going into this fight, Tommy Fury has just about every advantage you could possibly have going into a fist fight. He's taller, he has a longer reach, has more boxing experience, and oh by the way, he's coming off of a win over Jake Paul in an extremely high profile boxing match where just about everyone, except for me, thought he was going to get KO'd in the first three rounds. So I think it's safe to say that Tommy Fury is coming into this one with a lot of confidence. But when it comes to breaking these kinds of fights down, sometimes it's best to look at what the professionals have to say. I recently watched a video from professional boxer and Olympic medalist Tony Jeffries where he went over just how hard it is for a traditionally trained boxer to fight against somebody with a style as unorthodox as KSI's. When looking at this fight, the obvious comparison to make is Tommy versus Jake, where you see the lack of experience from Jake on full display, getting constantly stuck with the jab, getting overloaded with combinations, and Jake's only real answer was to just spam overhand rights, hoping that one of them lands with enough damage to end the fight. But I think the reason behind this is Jake, as opposed to KSI, has been trying to learn how to box with with professional boxers, as opposed to KSI, who's been trying to learn how to fight against professional boxers. And while we always look at Tommy Fury as the experienced, seasoned professional boxer in these situations, I think that sometimes we kind of lose track of the fact that Tommy is, by professional boxing standards, extremely green. The guy had a total of about 12 amateur fights and then nine professional fights, but let's not forget the vast majority of these were up against journeymen who were looking to survive at best. On top of that, the scouting report for Jake has always been watch out for the huge right hand. Whereas when we look at JJ, he's knocked his opponents out by left hook or by right elbow. But still, combining that with the unorthodox footwork of JJ, I don't think Tommy's actually seen anything like this in the ring and since JJ's only had a handful of fights all of which have ended super early there is barely any footage to go off of to try to understand what exactly to expect in the ring come October 14th but this is also a major red flag for KSI since all of his fights have ended so early we really don't know much about his gas tank what we do know is that he declined to take this fight to eight rounds instead opting for six and it's no secret that his game plan is to go in there and try to force an early knockout so if he goes in there, guns blazing, throwing huge shots with all he's got, and if either none of those land or none of them affect Tommy enough to change the outcome of the fight, there is a really good chance that he ends up gassing out pretty early, whereas when it comes to Tommy Fury, we've already seen him go a hard eight rounds. Final prediction, I still think this is Tommy's fight to lose. I think JJ realistically only has a puncher's chance, but considering how unorthodox he is, I think he actually has a pretty big puncher's chance. The story of this fight will be told within the first three rounds. I think JJ is going to put a pressure on Tommy early and he probably will land at least a couple big shots and if KSI's power is as devastating as he says it is then he will in fact knock out Tommy Fury but on the other hand if Tommy doesn't get caught or is able to withstand the power, then I think Tommy wins this one fairly easily. I would say late stoppage but since it's going six rounds instead of eight, I think JJ is durable enough to last durable enough to take the fight to the scorecards and if this fight does go to decision let's just hope we don't see any misfits favoritism with any kind of robbery because that would just suck for everyone involved all in all i'm about 65 35 leaning towards tommy fury by decision with a chance of a mid to late round stoppage let me know what you think in the comments below and thanks for watching